everybody, it's Debbie, and I am here with a bit of a cold, so pardon my voice, but to show you the journal that almost wasn't, I started making this guy quite some time ago, but I struggled so much with this cover. It's just um, a regular manila envelope, but I was trying all different kinds of things. I was ready to toss it uh, out the window basically and then I decided I am not giving up on this I am going to make this work like we do as crafters and I um, actually quite like it now so again this is an envelope manila envelope um, decoupaged with several layers of paper and then it has a doily on the end here and a ribbon um, closure. So we'll open her up. Here we have just a fabric pocket and um, little charm. And this is an envelope that I actually made. I love it because when you open it, it's like perfect. There's this cute little girl peeking out at you and then inside is the rest of her but I made this years ago like in the 80s and let me grab this book super quick I've mentioned it in another video hope you can hear me sorry um, it is called the envelope mail and it is back in the 80s and it has like a whole bunch of templates in it to make different size envelopes and so um, for the longest time I would cut up nice <clears throat> magazines similar to the ones we use now in our junk journaling and just make envelopes so I had made this one I'm not kidding it had to be in the 80s um, probably from Victoria magazine um, so that's kind of fun now we have all kinds of gadgets that make them for us and cut them out um, but occasionally I will still use those templates because there are different sizes. This side, just a tuck with a postcard with a magazine photo glued to the other side. More pockets. Um, some I know where they came from, some I didn't. This is just a coffee um, dyed paper with a stamp. This, I believe, came from... Oh, poo. Um, Marion Smith, um, one of her uh, collections. Here is a little key, which is tangled up with this other little bobble, but it says Dream on it. And this little corner tuck with a coat check, a little, another little envelope decorated, nothing in there. And then a tag, embellished tag with some bling. Um, and this, I believe, is just inked. Turn the page, and here we have some ephemera up here. Um, and these are backed with this ancient <laughs> yellow, yellowed now, Manila lined paper that I got from my dad's office supplies. Um, and the same is true. Well, no, the same is not true for these. These have a grid back. And these are pinned on, but they're just different, like dress forms, sewing, and another dress form. So, and then obviously writing can happen underneath. As usual, I left quite a few pages available just for journaling. Here is a full sheet of said ancient lined paper. I usually use it for backing because it's so old. It rips super easily, so you kind of have to be careful with it. This is an envelope flip out, and then this paper, um, again, the yellow lined paper, but it's backed on a scrapbooking paper to help it um, stay a little more sturdy. And then obviously more journal writing space. This side, other side of the envelope, and then again 
a little flip out to write on. Plain. This is um, another little bobble over here. I <laughs> don't know if you can see it. It's kind of small. It does have some sparkle though. This is just a scrapbook paper. I left it blank. Usually I decorate pages where I do prints um, just because I personally don't like to write on them, but because this was lighter, I felt like it could be written on. Another tracing paper, another decorated envelope, nothing in this one. This side, just a decorated with some sewn on lace and scraps and doodads. I believe this picture came from a freebie from Nick the Booksmith. And again, backed with that paper from my dad's office. Over here we have a Patricia pocket, um, an old card. This one happens to be an advertisement for the card itself, the brand. Some little, again, ephemera backed in that yellow paper, and then in the back, a flip down um, tag with a sentiment on it. And that just scoots back there. It's hard to do this upside down. I have not mastered it. Plain page. Um, again, some more ephemera. Again, I think this came from the Marion Smith collection. This came from my great aunt, or it could have been my grandmother, um, little tally sheet that they used to use with their card games. Another decorated piece of ephemera. This is an envelope that I forgot to decorate, but we'll do that. Um, I just see it in there now. Another little bobble here, sparkly bead. More writing, more writing. This is a flip up for private journaling. Although everything in a journal is technically private, I suppose, right? Or at least should have the option to be. More pages. Um, here are, again, some stamped and coffee dyed tags, both sides. And they just slip perfectly right in there. And that is a little embellished pocket, lace tray, another little pocket. This is just in here because I don't know why, but I love this piece of paper. It has the coolest feel and I like the color. Another playing card and a piece of ephemera I made a while ago. It is backed with um, just some coffee stained cardstock, and that is from a magazine. I made a whole bunch of those a while back. This is a tag I made quite a long time ago to go in a different journal, and it never uh, materialized in the way I wanted it to, so I reused it here. These pull out. This is late embellished with lace and charms, and some ribbon, and these are vintage gals from a graphic 45 collection and then lastly back here these pull out little ephemera and this actually is the card that goes in that undecorated long envelope but I took it out because it fits perfectly here and that these are from close to my heart I used to be a close to my heart consultant and so I'm trying to still go through my stash from, from that. Another tag, this book belongs to. And then another cloth pocket back here. Um, whoops. This is some of that lined paper. Um, and this is actually a piece of my personal ephemera, which I will take out. Um, when I was a little girl, my dad had a trucking company. Actually, he had a trucking company most of my growing up years, but he named it Little Deborah Freight Lines. And after me, obviously, my name is Debbie. And so that is the um, registration for that. And 
says Little Dripper Freight Lines. So here is the journal that almost wasn't. I have been promising a giveaway for my 100 subscriber mark and this is going to be the giveaway. Um, I'm also going to include a bunch of extra ephemera um, and a special ink pen that I have um, for this occasion. So if you are interested, please leave a comment below. Um, if you're not interested, you can just give a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and let's see, today is Memorial Day. So let's say June 3rd. When is June 3rd? I should look. I should have been more prepared for this. Let's say June 3rd, I will pick a name through the random.org process that everyone does and someone will get this little um, journal that almost wasn't. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have had a great weekend and if you are in the U.S. enjoying your holiday today. Thanks again. Bye-bye.